Welcome back to another NFL video in which today we'll be having an NFC matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the Green Bay Packers. It'll be a cool head coaching matchup between Sean McVay and LaFleur, as well as a quarterback battle between Jordan Love and Matthew Stafford. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support. So let's get into this one and see which NFC team will come out on top. Should be a fun one, so let's get straight into it. Jordan Love and the Packers offense will get the ball to start off the game. So let's take a look at his stats from last year as he had 14 out of 21 attempts, 195 yards, 1 touchdown, and 0 interceptions. It is now 3rd and 2 for the Packers and Aaron Jones will take it up the middle and will come up just short and it will be 4th and inches for the Packers. Here on 4th and inches, Jordan Love will go for it and get the first down. Jordan Love here on 1st and 10 has a play action pass and will roll to his right. And he has an open receiver and will get it to number 9. And it will be a first down and it will flip the field to the Rams 42 yard line. Here on 2nd and 1, Jordan Love will give it to Aaron Jones who will take it up the middle and take it to the 25 yard line and get the first down for the Packers. It is now 1st and 10 for the Packers and it is a play action pass and Jordan Love has a nice clean pocket and will attack the left sideline and get it to number 87, Romeo Dobbs who will take it to the 3 yard line and set up a first and goal for the Green Bay Packers. Great job by Jordan Love to sling it out there. Here on second and goal, Jordan Love will take the ball and will get into the end zone. And the Packers are going to be the first one on the boards as they take a 7 point lead over the Rams. It is now time for Matthew Stafford and the Rams offense to take the field. So let's take a look at Stafford's stats from last year as he had 206 out of 303 attempts, 2,087 yards, 10 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. It is now 3rd and 6 for the Rams, and we got a play action pass, and Stafford has a receiver wide open down the middle, and it is 2-2 Atwell, who will take it near midfield at the 48-yard line. It is now 2nd and 4 for the Rams, and he will pass it to number 89, Tyler Higby, and that will be enough for the first down, taking it to the 39-yard line. Here on 2nd and 8, it'll be a play action pass and Stafford has no chance as he gets sacked by Wyatt and this will bring up a 3rd and 16 for the Rams. And let's take a look at the replay right here as Devontae Wyatt gets to Matthew Stafford very quickly. And that was a bad job by the left tackle to try and block Wyatt. And that was an easy sack for the Packers defensive lineman. It is now 3rd and 16 for the Rams and once again the pressure gets to Matthew Stafford and it is now a 4th and 26 and the Rams will have to punt the ball back to the Green Bay Packers offense. It is now 2nd and 10 for Jordan Love and the Packers and he fumbles the ball and it is recovered by his lineman at the 1 yard line. It is now 3rd and 22 for the Packers and we have a play action pass and Love has a wide open receiver in number 88. And he will take it to the 34 yard line and get a first down. Let's take a look at the replay right here as the Packers get that beautiful third down conversion. And look at how open he is working the right sideline and getting the offense out of trouble. Once again the Packers lose yardage and here on third and 22. Love throws it to the flat but misses his receiver and just like that. It will be a punt back to the Rams. Rams get the ball back and lose some yardage as well. And time is going to run out. And this will be the end of the first half as the Packers will lead the Rams 7 to nothing. The Rams get the ball to start off the second half. And here on 3rd and 8, Stafford has a lot of time in the pocket and works the left sideline. As he completes it to number 17, the rookie phenom Puka Nakua. Here on 1st and 10, Matthew Stafford gets the pressure coming right at him and it is 2nd and 19 as he gets sacked by Wyatt once again. It is now a 3rd and 20 for Matthew Stafford and company and he has lots of time in the pocket but a lot of his receivers are covered downfield 
as he works the left sideline and it falls incomplete and the Rams will have to punt the ball back to the Packers. It is now third and ten for the Packers and Jordan Love has lots of time in the pocket and he airs it out to his receiver who comes up with the catch at the 50 yard line. Here on second and six, Love will give it to the running back Aaron Jones who will rush up the right side to get the first down at the 34 yard line. Here on first and 10 on the plate right after they'll give it to Aaron Jones one more time and he trucks his way down to the 20 yard line into the red zone. It is now third and five for Jordan Love and the Packers offense and he tries to fit it into tight coverage double coverage right there and it falls incomplete and it'll be fourth and five at the 15 yard line. And it looks like the Green Bay Packers are going to settle for a field goal attempt. And the kick is up and it is going to be shanked and be no good. That was an absolutely atrocious kick by the kicker Carlson. It is now third and seven for the Rams and Matthew Stafford will get it to Puka Nakua. And this will bring up a fourth and two. The Rams punt the ball back to the Packers and here on second and ten Jordan Love will air it out. And it is completed to Dobbs, who takes it into Rams territory at the 47-yard line. Let's take a look at the replay right here. And what a great throw by Jordan Love. And great job by the receiver to keep his composure and keep both feet inbounds. It is now 3rd and 3 for the Packers. And they're going to give it to A.J. Dillon, who powers his way through to the 34-yard line. And the Rams use the last of their timeouts, so... The Packers can now go into victory formation and run out the clock. That is exactly what they are going to do. And they are going to let the clock run down to triple zeros as the Green Bay Packers will defeat the Los Angeles Rams 7 to nothing. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and I appreciate all the support. If you're an NFL fan or a college football fan, we'll be covering both all season long, so stay tuned. Appreciate all the support, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.